The Shell Caribbean Cup 1994 was the sixth edition of the Caribbean Cup, the football championship of the Caribbean, one of the CONCACAF zones. The final stage was hosted by Trinidad and Tobago. Qualifying tournament, Martinique and Trinidad and Tobago automatically qualified for the final round. Equals regulation equals, a strange rule was imposed in the qualifying tournament, every match must have a winner. If the two teams make a draw in 90 minutes, then they go to a sudden death extra time, where the golden goal will be counted as two goals. If no team scores in the extra time, then they go to the penalty shootout to determine the winner. Equals group 1 equals. Anomaly. Granada went into the match with a superior goal difference, meaning that Barbados needed to win by two goals to progress to the finals. The trouble was caused by two things. First, unlike most group stages in football competitions, the organizers had deemed that all games must have a winner. All games drawn over 90 minutes would go to sudden death extra time. Secondly and most importantly, there was an unusual rule which stated that in the event of a game going to sudden death extra time the goal would count double, meaning that the winner would be awarded a two-goal victory. Barbados was leading 2-0 until the 83rd minute, when Granada scored, making it 2-1. Approaching the dying moments, the Barbadians realized they had little chance of scoring past Granada's must defense in the time available, so they deliberately scored an own goal to tie the game at 2-2. This would send the game into extra time and give them another half hour to break down the defense. The Grenadians realized what was happening and attempted to score an own goal as well, which would put Barbados back in front by one goal and would eliminate Barbados from the competition. However, the Barbados players started defending their opposition's goal to prevent them from doing this, and during the game's last five minutes, the fans were treated to the incredible sight of Granada trying to score in either goal while Barbados defended both ends of the pitch. Barbados successfully held off Granada for the final five minutes, sending the game into extra time. In extra time, Barbados notched the game winner, and, according to the rules, was awarded a 4-2 victory, which put them through to the next round. Equals group 2 equals, played in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Equals group 3 equals, played in Suriname. Equals group 4 equals, played in St. Kitts and Nevis. Since the winner of this match is surely to have more goal difference than Dominica, and since Dominica did appear in the final tournament, it is most likely that the match was never played. The match between was cancelled because of crowd trouble. Equals group 5 equals, played in Cayman Islands. Equals group 6 equals, Cuba withdrew. Final tournament. Equals first round equals, played in Trinidad and Tobago. Group A. Group B. Equals semi-finals equals. Equals third place match equals. Equals final equals. Haitian national team defection attempt, many in the Haitian national team did not want to return to Haiti following the events of the 1991 Haitian coup d'état copyright tat where Army General Raoul Car copyright Tres had led a military coup. Several Haitian players had criticized the coup d'état copyright tat on a Miami-based radio station and their messages had been played in Haiti. Guy Delva was a journalist who was reporting on the Haitian players at the time said I'm wondering if they really understand the gravity of the statements they made, and it was felt by some that the players and their immediate families were in danger. Following the Haitian team's exit from the competition, 16 members of the national football team sought political asylum at the U.S. Embassy in Port of Spain on April 14. They were told by embassy officials to apply from Haiti or the United States. Goalkeeper Jacques Domaini claimed that six of his friends had already been killed in Haiti. Upon being told to return to Haiti, defender Patrick Nertelis said we are very happy to be going home. We are the stars in our country. References Football Follies, a soccer team advanced in a cup match by deliberately scoring against itself Snopes.com article. Longmore, Andrew in Sport Absurd Cup Rule Obscures Football's Final Goal. February 1, 1994. The Guardian. Sixth column. February 5, 1994. Made of CFU, Viglucci, Andres. 
turned away by U.S., Haitian athletes will have to face the music at home. Night Ridder Tribune News Service. Retrieved February 3, 2014.